Center College, welcome to Evening Magazine. This, of course, is a place where young women come to study and prepare for the future. College is such a great opportunity, a lot of great memories, a lot of good courses to take. But you know, Sarah, there's never been a course that I've known of that teaches you how to deal with success should you attain it in your life. That's right, and it can be very difficult to deal with, especially if it comes quickly. Case in point, comedian Roseanne Barr. According to Evening Sam Rubin, she may be spinning out of control. I was in Denver, and uh, somebody told me, you know, Sam Kennison and Louie Anderson told me to go to a comedy store. So I went there, and it was like this dream come true deal. I hate that word. I hate the word homemaker, too. I want to be called domestic goddess. Didn't know this was going to happen. She goes, you're a married woman, and you're going to bars at night? Roseanne, don't you think we should talk about our sexual problems? <laughs> like, I'm going to turn off Wheel of Fortune for that. In the course of just one year, Roseanne Barr has gone from the domestic goddess of stand-up to the princess of primetime TV to finally the queen of the tabloids. There just are no secrets in her life. We've dug everything out that there is to find out. There's been plenty for Janet Charlton of Star Magazine and other tabloid reporters to dig up about Roseanne Barr. First, there were the stories of her temper tantrums on the set of her TV show. She's going through a lot, you know, it's tough on her. Yeah, you know, I think her... There might be some people out for her. Then it was revealed that as a teenager, she gave birth to a child who she put up for adoption. She had an illegitimate child and certainly an intimate piece of personal news. And, and the, um, the tabloids were able to dig up the daughter in Texas, living a normal life with her adopted parents. And now the hottest headline on TV's hottest female is her divorce from her husband of 15 years, Bill Pentland. I mean, you may marry the man of your dreams, ladies, but 14 years later, you're married to a reclining chair that burps. Not to mention her engagement to boyfriend and stand-up comic Tom Arnold. According to Janet, it's enough domestic commotion to give the domestic goddess a nervous breakdown. Roseanne is like definitely whirling out of control. I think she's got so many things confusing her now. Her family, her children, her boyfriend, her divorce, her fiancé. She's not reaching a breaking point, I'm surprised, I'll tell you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for Roseanne Barr. Come on, sit down. This past February, Roseanne paid a visit to Mr. Pete, host of a Los Angeles cable access talk show where he teased her about some of these tabloid tales. Let's, let's get into the Roseanne shocker. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you read this toilet paper? Have you oh, read yeah. This? Every word in it is true. Your husband oh. had a heart attack? <laughs> he phoned me. He said, get home and take me to the hospital. I'm having a heart attack. And you did? Yeah, well, you know, I had lunch first. But... <laughs> it says in here that the scripts they got for the show stink. Now, I know that they you want to... They don't stink. You just got to punch them up a bit, huh? Yeah, you just got to punch them up a and bit. And you got to assert yourself, don't you? Oh, well, I'm learning to be assertive. Well, I am, too. <laughs> <laughs> Roseanne's asserting herself now on the big screen with big screen heavyweight Meryl Streep in a movie called She Devil. In fact, when the cameras started rolling on April 12th, the tabloids started reporting problems between Meryl and Roseanne. It was a period of adjustment there, definitely, but with uh, Meryl and Roseanne, but they ended up really liking each other, and R R Meryl was helping Roseanne with her acting. And, of course, Roseanne would offer a few tips of her own to Meryl, which was amusing to everyone in sight. Over my dead body. <laughs> the producers like her so much that she now has a three-picture deal, according to Janet. And there are others in the industry who admire Roseanne's style, including one casting director. Roseanne Barr has talent. She has charisma. She has cuddliness. She has joy. She has frustration. She relates to the public and even one rival network executive. She's an original. There, uh, there isn't another woman on television or who could be on television who does what she does. We're on TV and we're calling you. We just want to say hi. You are not. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Honest. On TV? Yeah. yeah, we're on TV. It's on number three, channel three. It's on channel three. Not Roseanne. Yeah, this is me. Listen. Mm. <laughs> but despite the positive attention she gets for her professional work, Roseanne's private life continues to attract attention. The kids, you know, suffered a lot with R Roseanne's newfound fame, especially the one, the oldest daughter that ended up in, a, in an institution, unable to handle it. I mean, it's like Roseanne went on a wild binge when she became successful. All of a sudden, she's, 
She's, she's running around with a young guy, and she had been real devoted to her family up until then, and very intent on keeping it together. But suddenly there were new opportunities arising all around her. Well, I'm rich now, and I hardly have time to care about little people like you. <laughs> <laughs> the breaking point, I think, is right around the corner for her if she doesn't calm down. How rude. How rude. How rude. Everywhere Roseanne and her fiancé go, they are besieged by photographers and they are really getting tired of it. But the other night, the couple was out on the town and fans were treated to typical Roseanne humor. They were dining in a restaurant and fans asked Roseanne to see her engagement ring. She refused unless they gave her some of their French fries, which they did, and then Roseanne showed them the ring. I love the piano, I love words, and I love that lens. Come a little closer, let me play you my song. Up next, some of the offbeat offerings seen on Public Access TV. Every day, cats perform incredible balancing acts. Fancy Feast perfectly balances great gourmet taste with concentrated nutrition essential to your cat's good health. Fancy Feast Gourmet Cat Food, the perfect balance for life. Now, Fancy Feast introduces two light, flaky seafood flavors with the concentrated nutrition your cat needs. New Tuna Supreme Feast and Tuna and Sardine Feast. Two new reasons Fancy Feast is the perfect balance for life. You wouldn't step out for a big night on the town without looking your best. You wouldn't make plans without checking the weather forecast. So why hit the road without tuning in Traffic Watch 4? Judy Paparelli and the Eyewitness News team offer exclusive daily commuter forecasts showing what to avoid before it's too late. With Sky I-4 and our Traffic Watch network, you'll steer clear of the worsening New England traffic picture. Traffic Watch 4, weeknights at 5, 36, and 11, only on WBZ TV 4. In the last three model years, over 400,000 GM owners made the move to Mercury. Now, during the Lincoln Mercury move-out, it's your turn. Get 2.9 APR financing or $1,500 cash back on Tracer 2-door. Or get 2.9 financing or $750 cash back on Topaz. For great rates, rebates, and savings, come in today. Don't miss the big move-out at your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. This summer, Touchstone Pictures brings you the oddest couple of all, Turner and Hooch. It's for you. It's the story of a man trying to train a dog. No slobbering, no chewing. You will not drink from my toilet. And a dog trying to train a man. Just like health food. And there's no telling who's going to win. Touchstone Pictures presents Tom Hanks. I guess you have to be a dog. Turner and Hooch. You're even beginning to look like him. Rated PG starts tomorrow at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. Most of us have come across public access TV. It's hard to believe it's already almost 20 years old. Now, when it was originally set up and designed, it was supposed to be a community service, you know, to do town meetings and things like that. But that's not what it has turned out to be. If you have the time and the money and can afford that studio crew, you can do or say just about anything you want. And some of it gets pretty weird, as we find out from Nancy Class. Come a little closer, let me play you my song. Yes, you too can now display this great American creation in your own living room. And I can turn it around. 20 years ago, it was heralded as the future of television, public access TV. Those channels set aside by local cable companies that make it possible for each of us to find 15 minutes of fame. You can put your local basketball team on from the high school. You can have a civic group give a presentation or show a special event. Or you as an individual can get up and make a statement. My name is Elaine. Okay. My life path is a 19-1. A 19-1. Birthday, please. Some of the statements are downright bizarre, but cable programmers say that's just fine. In the largely unregulated, uncensored world of public access TV, it takes little more than a camera, a crew, and something to say or sing to have your own show. Not going right. Not going right. See, what bothers me is I got into the wrong key, but that's okay. We'll get back. Here we go. John Wallowich, a Juilliard Music School graduate and composer, has been tickling the ivories on Manhattan's cable system for the past nine years. Why do I do my show? I love music. That's why I do my show. I love the piano. I love words, and I love 
that lend the softly, <laughs> sweetly. Wallowich's phone-in request show, the only program of its kind in the country, has made him a minor New York celebrity. But there's more than one way to take a bite out of the Big Apple. Dr. Barry Bloom is doing it with his teeth. The, the kids uh, just bite into absolutely everything and have no respect for uh, their physical being. Dr. Bloom dispenses dental advice on a cable call-in show. He says evening, starting a program is as simple as a trip to the furniture showroom. And I got a desk to have in front of me, and I got a window, and I got some plants, and I got a backdrop, and then I just started to uh, imitate other people. Over here we have a uh, diagram. I can't stand to watch myself on TV. Can you come in on this? That's why I don't have a TV in the office. Can you come in on this? Dr. Bloom makes no money from his program. In uh, fact, he has to foot the production bill himself. But he admits the, uh, business is booming. New York's cable system is also largely responsible for the success of Robin Bird, a one-time porno actress turned stripper and cable talk show host. She leases time on commercial access TV, a form of public access that allows the sale of advertisements. Oh, Robin, you've been on cable so long. For the past 12 years, the Robin Bird Show has playfully explored the world of sex and pornography while stirring up a First Amendment debate over the proper use of public access. Fun, fantasy, and relaxation is a description of my show. Well, I'll stick with the term pornography. From this time slot, you have pornographic advertisements and programs during this whole period, and everybody in Manhattan who has cable television has that put into their home whether they want it or not. If you're looking for socially redeeming values, change the channel. Despite opposition from anti-pornography groups, the Robin Bird Show has flourished. In fact, she has a spin-off exercise show on public access and plans for stardom beyond Channel J. Something, something more. That's what I want. I want bigger things. And if I can't have that, I'll just start my own network and you'll have Bird TV. And that may be the biggest attraction to public access TV. No matter how small, it could be a shot at stardom. Okay, please call back when you uh, get organized. You know, dear, that I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you, and I'm in love with the piano, and I'm in love with music, and I'm in love with doing this television show. Period. End of story. If the thought of being on television or producing a show interests you, there are a lot of opportunities locally. Cablevision of Newton has some programs set up. They'll train you on how to use the equipment and offer some staff support. But remember, those wild and crazy ideas, they have to come from you. When Evening Magazine continues, cool off with the best of New England's water slides. WBZ-TV4 and MDC Metro Parks present Philly West for free Friday flicks at the Hatch. Can you guess our next feature? How will we get to the Esplanade if we're still in Africa? You may be my queen, sweetheart, but you're no navigator. Trust me, darling, I think it's right here. Did you say right? It's an over-the-edge classic at the next free Friday flick at the Hatch Shell on the Esplanade beginning at 8.30. Miss it and you'll be all wet, sweetheart. Okay, you're trying to decide between the Jeep Cherokee and the Isuzu Trooper. Let's weigh the facts, shall we? The Isuzu Trooper comes standard with four-wheel disc brakes and triple skid plates, more cargo space, a larger fuel tank, and more headroom. Oh, <laughs> and one more thing. The Isuzu Trooper costs about $1,000 less. Now you can save up to $1,000 more during Isuzu's 75th birthday blowout. TV4 presents Shishkel and Herbert at the Hat Shell. Well, Roger, in a summer of silly sequels and bloated blockbusters, free Friday flicks are a breath of fresh air. That's right, Gene. The popcorn's pretty fresh, too. Yes, it's a summer of classic family viewing down at the Hat Shell. WBZ TV and MDC Metro Parks are proud to be bringing you our third annual free summer film series on the Esplanade. So I guess there's only one review for free Friday flicks at the Hat Shell. Right, Gene? Yeah! Not long ago, folks here in Hidden Valley discovered something wonderful. 
It was a new recipe for Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing. And somehow this new ranch dressing tasted even creamier, even fresher than ever. And for Hidden Valley Ranch, that's saying something. It hasn't changed much, but everyone agrees this is the best tasting ranch we've ever put in a bottle. Fresh, new, Hidden Valley Ranch. The important message of this commercial is that no one offers you more fresh meat, fish, and vegetables that are great on the grill than Stop and Shop. The rest of this commercial is just pure sizzle. you're hot, you're sticky, you're uncomfortable, but I've heard a lot of New Englanders say they'd rather have a week of this weather compared to a week of winter. And Boston comes alive in the summertime. There are so many things to do, especially summer concerts. You have Great Woods, you have Tanglewood, and you also have a special series of concerts right here at Pine Manor College. This campus is located just minutes from the Chestnut Hill Mall. And starting tomorrow night, the New England Conservatory presents Chamber Music East 89. So you come out here, have a nice nice picnic before the concert starts, then wander over to Ellsworth Hall at 8 p.m. and enjoy some wonderful music. Right now we take a look at a great activity for the whole family, water slides. We took our cameras up north to water country in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, down south to Lakeview Recreation in Coventry, Rhode Island, and west to Riverside Park in Agawam, Massachusetts. To test their fun factor, we brought along our own panel of experts, David, Ben, Julie, and Ryan, who judged each park on creativity, length of ride, other fun stuff offered, and overall enjoyment. Our first visit was to Water Country, where they offer three types of slides, including the heart-stopping Geronimo. In addition to slides, Water Country offers a wave pool and a quarter-mile ride down a river current in inner tubes that features cooling waterfalls. Admission is $15.95 and $9.95 if you're under four feet. We could finally tear our judges away. We asked them how they rated water country, A, B, C, or D. The results? A, 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 and A. Out in Agawam, Riverside Park features an amusement park and Wild River Falls, a group of slides you can ride with your clothes on with just a minimal amount of the water splash factor. Well, sort of. Admission is $14.95 and $10.95 if you're under four feet. Wild River Falls features the Blue Lightning Slide, the Pipeline, and Riptide, a 65-foot slide that's straight down. After you hit the slides, take a turn at the amusement park and try the Flume Log Ride or their many other rides. And the verdict on Riverside? A. B plus. A. A. South of Boston in Coventry, Rhode Island, Lakeview Recreation features three flumes, a batting cage, and 19 holes of mini golf. Admission is $5 for seven slides, or they offer a three-hour special for $10. All the sliding you can stand. And the word from the experts? A plus. B. Probably a B minus. B. So with trips to three of New England's hottest water slides under their belts, we asked our judges the tough questions. Which is the best? Riverside. The tie between Water Country and Riverside. I liked Water Country because it had the most wider ride. Water Country. So by a slim margin, Water Country gets the nod as the best of the three we tested. We suggest you try them out for yourself and let us know what you think. So enjoy water slide fun in New England and keep cool with the whole family.
before Barry Nolan left Evening Magazine, he said to me, Sarah, I think it's time to go. I mean, can you actually see me going down a water slide for a story at the age of 40? Well, after seeing that story, you know what my answer is? The answer is yes. I think it's perfect for people of all ages, but if you are an adult and you're going, don't push any little kids out of your way. It's not nice. Coming up next, we find out more about what's happening in New England. Great, you're still open. Joe, what can I help you with? I'm looking for... Say, what's that? The new Sports Illustrated video. The amazing Biff Bam Boom Anything Goes bloopers. Ha, that's some name. And they mean it. It's the wackiest, goofiest thing I've ever seen. Look at this nutty football. These guys could use padding. Ha, oh, this looks great. And these guys can use sidelines. What is that, lacrosse? Or kill the guy with the ball? Ah. Man, I bet that hurt. <laughs> you think that hurt? Try this stuff. Ooh, now that is amazing. <laughs> I've never seen so much wild stuff. <laughs> There's plenty more on this video. Hey, where'd the mountain go? Oh, watch that guy go flying. And that guy. Hey, two hands for beginners. Three points for him. <laughs> they must open up the secret vault to get footage like this. Now that horse is smart. Come on, buddy, clean up your act. Wipe out, wipe out, wipe out. This stuff is hilarious. <laughs> That's the craziest sports video I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot. I'm sold. What's it cost? I wish I could sell it to you, but I got it free with my paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Wow, I've been thinking of subscribing to SI. Do it now, and you get SI'd almost 50% off the total cover price. You're kidding. Uh-uh. I just called their toll-free number and got 21 issues of SI, including their great football and baseball coverage, the big 35th anniversary issue, and the free 1990 swimsuit issue. I like it for the fashion. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I got the video for free, all for three easy payments of nine. 95 each. That's all it costs? Like I said, it's almost 50% off. So I get 21 issues of SI, including the free swimsuit issue and the preview issues for almost 50% off and Biff Bam Boom free? That's what I got. Hey, thanks. I'm going to go call Sports Illustrated right now. Hey, didn't he come in here for something? I love my mom and dad more than anybody, but they're tearing me apart. Maybe sometime a juvenile hall will set him straight. I want to be with my mom. You don't look good when you treat family like this. I'm a father. All I want to do is see my kids. Families in trouble. Turn to the judge. Weekdays at 4.30 on WBZ TV 4. sounds of chamber music east as we mentioned earlier performances start tomorrow night july 28th running through august 7th allegro allegro <laughs> and when you're out listening to the beautiful music you'll be inside because you can enjoy it in ellsworth hall right behind us it's air conditioned no heat and no mosquitoes no mosquitoes do not harmonize with this kind they don't of have music class. they call this tanglewood without the tangle very simple very easy oh yeah here's what else is happening in new england More than 200 certified lifesavers are competing at the Molson United States Lifeguard Regional Championship tomorrow, July 28th, at Chatham's Harding Beach. Find out what training a lifeguard has to go through to be one. At Newport's Fort Adams State Park this weekend, the Ben & Jerry's Folk Festival takes place with a lineup that includes Buckwheat Zydeco, Emmy Lou Harris, the Clancy Brothers, and more. David Thoreau returns to Walden Pond. Actor David Bartow will host strolls for visitors at the park through August 13th. Listen to his philosophies and a special flute performance. On Wednesday, August 2nd, the Drum and Bugle Corps show is marching into Lynn's Manning Bowl. Come and be entertained to a different beat. The National Folk Festival will celebrate another fun-filled year at downtown Lowell. The three-day weekend event starts tomorrow, July 28th. The festival is free. Be part of this year's Peace Run. There's no money being raised and participation is free. On Friday, August 4th, Massachusetts will join in this worldwide Olympic-style relay run. And that's what's happening.
To find out more about what's happening, call our Evening Magazine information line 783-4636. We'll also tell you how you can get tickets to the New England Conservatory's Chamber Music oh. East 89 here at Pine Manor College. I was trying to hold it back, Sarah, what's but I'm, I'm upset. I'm almost depressed. I saw that water slide story. It looked like so much fun. And did my pal Sarah ask me to go on that story with her? No. No, wait, 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 wait. Let me qualify this. The kids are the ones who got to go down the water slide and vote on their favorite water slide. But you know slide. I love water, and I've never been down a water slide. Right, we'll I go sometime. I'll t I have been down a water slide. They're wonderful especially this time of year in this weather. Didn't invite me either. In this heat, it's a great way to beat the heat. <laughs> and here's what's on tomorrow night. She's one of the most glamorous and mysterious women in the world. That was one of her charms. It's, and you never knew what was underneath. Tomorrow on Evening Magazine, Jackie O is now 60. We'll take an intimate look at the former first lady's life with the people who know her best. Then, in the 50s, she was a singing sensation. By the 60s, she was a mafia mistress. Now Phyllis McGuire is ready to talk about her scandalous past and meet the real-life inspirations of the Archie's comics. Everything's Archie. So those stories tomorrow night. We want to thank everybody who participated in WBZ TV and radio's Beat the Backup campaign. And remember, the campaign is really only just beginning for you. Take that public transportation so we can all beat the backup together. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Throughout history, few have mastered the art of painting it. Even fewer have mastered the art of growing it. Tree-ripened fruit, copied by many, originated by a stop and shop. Larger, incredibly flavorful because they're left on the tree longer. Tree-ripened fruit on exhibit now at stop and shop. My dad Jane bought... graduated, I bought her a really good watch. It was just beautiful. I but didn't... recently I noticed she wasn't wearing it. I didn't have the heart to tell him it was broken. The warranty had just expired. But since I bought it with my Citibank MasterCard, I got it fixed free. Citibank automatically extends the warranty for up to one year on almost everything you buy with our card. That gift really meant a lot. To both of us. And so did using the right credit card. Not just MasterCard, Citibank MasterCard. Hi, I'm Dave Murray. 86 degrees at 8 o'clock. All is quiet, but rather steamy right now. However, take a look at the regional radar, and we see a pretty good batch of thunderstorms, strong storms over northwest Massachusetts and southern Vermont. They're moving to the east. We have to watch it carefully, but for the next three hours, all is quiet in the Boston area. We'll have the latest update at 11 on Channel 4. Look for Family Feud at a new time, weekdays at 4. Come home to the best, only on NBC.